Hi, I'm Eric Matson, Golden Bears volleyball player. I'm playing my fifth year with the Golden Bears team. On my right here is Jackie Ellis, fifth year Pandas athlete, and recently just set the Canada West record for the most aces. So Jackie, I have to ask you, I've been playing volleyball for the Golden Bears for five years, and I've only been able to accumulate two aces. How do you get 122? Well, for starters, Eric, I think it's pretty impressive you have two aces, seeing as you are a libero. But we're going to go through a couple of pointers here, and maybe we can get you a couple more aces. So being a libero, one thing I noticed is that all servers seem to have the same consistent pre-serve routine. Take me through what you do before you get ready to serve the ball. Well, for starters, I get back into my starting position, and I take a couple of bounces. I usually take five, just so I have a consistent number in my head. And then I take a deep breath, and I start my approach to my serve. So we've seen your pre-serve routine and your approach into your serve. What was it that made you decide to go with the jump float serve as opposed to the other serves in volleyball like the spin serve, the float serve, or the, the deep float serve? Well, I think as, as you're growing up playing volleyball, you kind of test out all the different serves that you have in your game. And when I started jump floating, I think it was the most effective in my game. There's a couple of different reasons, I think, especially with this ball, if you can get a good contact on it and you hit it in a good spot, you can get a ton of movement on a jump float serve. And plus, jump floating it versus kind of standing and floating, you can get a higher contact on it. You can get the ball to really drop out on people. So I think that was a huge reason why I picked the jump float. So you just mentioned you want to make sure you have the best possible contact when making your serve. Let's break that down a little bit. What do you do to make sure that you give yourself the best chance of hitting a good solid float serve? Well, I think for starters, you got to make sure that when we're doing a jump float that we are hitting the ball at the highest contact of our jump because if you hit it when you're landing, basically, then what's the point in jumping, right? So we get our approach and then when we get to the highest point of our jump, that's when we want to contact the ball. I think key points are having a really big, strong hand when you contact it and making sure that it's not a little small hand trying to get a good contact on it. And then the other thing is trying to get your contact with your arm extended fully at the top of your reach so that when you contact it, you're jumping as high as you can, your arm is reached as high as it can, and then you're trying to hit it down over top of the net. So before your pre-serve routine, do you have an idea of where you're going to serve the ball? Like, do you look at the opponents and see who you want to serve at, or do you just try and find a good spot that will put them in the most trouble possible? Well, before I start my routine, I always look to Lori, and she always has serve targets for us and who she wants us to hit of the opponents. And then I kind of just look at where they're standing in relationship to the other players on their team and try and find gaps between them. And especially if they're kind of screening themselves or if we have a little bit of a screen set, trying to get in and around that, and that really tries to like confuse their Ah. So we hope you got some good insight on the technique of the serve, more specifically the jump float serve. I'm Eric Matson, Jackie Ellis, current Canada West record holder. Good luck to you and your team for the rest of the season. Thanks, you too, Eric. And uh, we just wanted to say thank you for watching, and we hope to see you all out at the next Bears and Pandas volleyball games. This is actually like so much harder than everyone on our teams. Really? Yeah. So we've seen your pre-serve routine and your approach into your serve. And so... <laughs> <laughs> I think it all started with uh, one of my coaches teaching us how to jump float serve at junior national team. And then kind of went along with everything. Oh man. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> So you just mentioned that you want to make sure you have the best possible contact on the ball when making your serve. Let's break that down a little bit. What do you do to make sure that you have the best possible contact? No, I just said the same thing. <laughs> so let's break that down a little bit. What do you do to give yourselves... 
touch it. Just give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you Tarek. And uh, we just wanted to say thank you for watching, and we hope to see you all out at the next Bears and Pandas volleyball games. Be there. We'll come find you. And beat you up. See you there. Or see you at another time. <laughs>